We begin in the Middle East where anti-government rebels are moving towards more cities after capturing Aleppo in northwestern Syria. The fighters who are part of an Al-Qaeda Al affiliated group are moving south towards the country's capital, Damascus. Now, according to war monitors, the insurgents have captured more than 50 villages and towns. After sweeping through Aleppo, they are now pushing towards a city called Hama, which is just 100 miles from the nation's capital. The offensive began last week against Syrian leader Bashir al-Assad's government and has led to the killing of more than 400 people. Meanwhile, Assad's loyalists have pledged to fight against the jihadist group who are trying to overthrow the government. This is our land, our honor, and our dignity. But anyone who is a mercenary or acting outside the law and tries to open fire will be dealt with on the spot. As the Syrian Arab army, we've been resisting for 14 years. This is who we are. This is our military, social, and ethical upbringing. By God's will, everything is very manageable for us, and we are ready for confrontation. Now, Syria erupted into a civil war back in 2011 when anti-Assad protests swept the country. The Syrian government was then backed by Vladimir Putin, who deployed Russian forces to Damascus to protect Assad's regime. And just like last time, Putin has again pledged to support the Syrian leader by ordering large-scale airstrikes across Syria targeting the insurgents. More than 15 airstrikes targeted Idlib city since the morning on December 1, 2024. It left behind around 15 martyrs in addition to 100 injured people. The number is on the rise. Moving to Aleppo, the government forces intensified their airstrikes on residential buildings. Civil defense teams registered the targeting of Saad Allah al Jabri Square and areas surrounding it with four airstrikes, which led to 12 martyrs in addition to 23 injured people. Now, along with Russia, Iran and Turkey remain two big critical players in Syria with Ankara supporting the insurgents while Tehran supports the Assad government. In fact, it was the Iran-backed group Hezbollah that helped the Syrian government in defeating the rebels during the 2011 civil war. However, with Israel dealing deadly blows to Hezbollah, the Syrian rebels now have a free run with support from Turkey. Meanwhile, Washington is closely monitoring the escalation and has criticized Moscow for carrying out indiscriminate airstrikes in cities with large civilian populations. Now it's too soon to write off Assad's regime, particularly with Iran and Russia's backing him. However, if more cities fall to the insurgency, the Assad regime could be witnessing the end of its grip on power.